couple on Joe Manchin. Uh, the senator has said that he has been consistent in his objections to Build Back Better. Does the White House agree? Uh, I think in terms of what? Give me more context of what he said. He said he's been consistent about either cost, inflationary concerns, some things being permanent, some things not, some things being one year, two year, varies on that. He said he's been consistent on that. I'm just quoting him. Does sure. the White House agree that he has been consistent in his communication with the White House about his concerns? We have. Uh, we believe that the that the Senator Manchin has been engaging with us uh, over the course of time and months in in good faith. I think the statement we put out on Sunday uh, made clear that we didn't feel that um, his announcement on Sunday was aligned with what he had committed directly to the president on in terms of the framework of what he might support. Uh, so I don't want to characterize further than you know the president believes they're friends. They can work together. We need to work together to get this done. They have some disagreements. But there's a lot of things they want to get done, and our focus is on is on moving forward. I know you're not going to negotiate from the podium, but one thing he has said is, whatever is in there should be there for a fixed number of years, and if there are things that are high priorities, they should become permanent. In general, does the White House agree with that? Well, I would say first that um, the president has been clear that he wants anything uh, that is in this package to be paid for, um, and uh, he wants that's the package a, to be paid priority. for. He wants the package to be paid for. There are components of this where there would need to be decisions made over the course of time about extending them. The president has been clear about his intention of paying for that. Uh, beyond that, I would note that there's been a lot of negotiations leading up to this point. There will be more negotiations, no doubt about it. Everybody stay tuned and settle in uh, to continue to discuss. Um, and as a part of that, there was agreement on the length of time of different components of the package. Uh, you know, obviously compromise is not a dirty word. We're gonna continue discussing it, but uh, beyond that, I don't, I don't think I have anything more to dig out for you. On the supply data that you provided at the top, what do you <laughs> believe the implications are with that success as you described it for inflation in the country? Well, I think part of our hope here, a major and economists will tell you this, is as you address the bottlenecks in the supply chain, more goods are able to travel, more on the shelves, that will helpfully help lower costs. Uh, and that is certainly what our objective and our focus is on. Does the White House believe, from an economic perspective, that was the central driver of inflation, or are there other aspects of the economy that you still have to deal with to bring inflation down? Well, there are a number of areas of different industries that we have seen price increases, right? And as we talk about inflation, the way the American people consume that is how much does a new car cost or a new car cost or a, a pound of meat. And so what we've been trying to do is attack every issue in each of the industries as they are coming up, right? If you look at oil and gas and that and the issue of oil and gas, part of that has certainly been about ensuring there's enough supply in the global marketplace. That's something the president has been pressing OPEC plus members on. They've obviously abided by their commitment to release the necessary supply they committed to. But we've also taken steps to tap the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. That's not about, of course, addressing bottlenecks. That's a different issue. So point is, um, we have certainly taken, uh, a lot of our focus has certainly been on addressing bottlenecks. And we believe that will have a, a positive impact, as we're already seeing, on ensuring goods are flowing, working to bring down prices because more things will be on the shelves, but we also are working to address issues that we're seeing in different industries that are leading to increased costs. Thank you.